I'm in my hostel in Berlin right now and um, I just wanted to talk about my experiences traveling alone and staying in hostels. I think that could uh, give lots of value to you guys. About three or four videos ago I made that video talking about how traveling is one of the best things you could do for your just personal growth and um, that video seemed to really uh, click with lots of you guys. So that kind of inspired me to make this video. Um, so uh, at first I went to Bucharest and I went there with Shogo and I had some friends there. So that was a really good way to start the trip. And then I went to Prague by myself and I'm in Berlin by myself. And then I'm gonna be going to uh, back to California um, in a couple days. And so far it's been a blast. Definitely one of the best experiences of, best experiences of my life so far. Um, and I, I kind of just wanted to talk about hostels because in America we don't really have hostels, but in, in Europe they're all over. And like f for everyone, but especially like you Americans watching, I would definitely, if you're watching this, do a European like hostel tour. Just like go around, pick a couple cities in Europe and crash in hostels. It's really cool, especially you guys who have social anxiety. Um, just a great way to meet people and kind of reinvent yourself and be social. Um, at first, I wasn't quite sure what the whole hostel thing was like, but people here are like extremely friendly. Kind of, this is like my sixth hostel now, and I kind of got going in, like being in a couple of hostels to kind of get the feeling of how hostels work. But there, it's been an awesome experience. People are extremely friendly, extremely generous, um, and it's just really easy to meet people. You can just talk to people in like your room. There's always you know like four beds, seven beds in one room, so it's really easy to just get talking to people in your room. I'm um, just like. Hey, what's up? Where are you from? People are just really friendly because they're travelers too, typically. And if not, you could really easily meet people in just like the common area or lots of times people, um, hostels have like a, a bar um, where you could just go up and talk to people. Hey, where are you from? What's going on? And people are extremely friendly in hostels. So it's just a great way, you know, to kind of work on your social skills and just put yourself out there. I know lots of you guys need to work on that. Um, lots of my viewers need to work on that. So I'd say it's been an amazing thing and I highly recommend you to do that. Shogo was the one who recommended me to travel by myself. So now I'm recommending that to you guys. So big thanks to Shogo. And next time I travel, I definitely want to do it with a friend or like a girl. Um, it's been like really good for me traveling by myself, but traveling with a friend is definitely more fun. I'd recommend maybe traveling with a friend if you haven't done much traveling, stay in hostels. But maybe try to do like one city by yourself, just to experience it, it's really cool. Some people commented about um, expense, and um, there's lots of things, like if you really Google it, you, you could figure out a way to travel, I think. There's lots of things like working on a farm, and they pay your room and board, there's things like that. And um, you could even like travel to your next city and like do stuff like couch surfing. So don't give yourself any excuses to why you're not traveling, exploring the world, meeting new cool people. I'd say the best times on this trip so far have just been like getting drunk with random people in hostels. Uh, just meeting cool girls, really, really awesome girls traveling around. Um, it's been a really fun time. So I just wanted to make another video kind of encouraging you to travel, talking about my hostel experience. Um, awesome stuff. Definitely travel. It's just a really great way to find yourself, I'd say. Peace. Just one thing I wanted to add. Um, lots of these hostels, um, like th the people in the hostel, go out go out with each other to uh, like a bar um, on the weekends or go, go on like a pub crawl. And lots of these hostels have like group events, um, so it's really a great great like socially. And um, I really came to these cities with like no plans. I've just kind of embraced the moment and have been very spontaneous. Um, I haven't even done that much touristy stuff. I've kind of just like walked around and uh, enjoyed myself and enjoyed getting the vibes of a new city. Um, so that'd be like my advice for uh, traveling, just to embrace the moment and be very spontaneous. I think it's probably very, really good to like, maybe you choose a couple things like, all right, I'm gonna do this and like plan something out. But for the most part, Embracing spontaneity when traveling and just embracing the moment is probably the best way to do it Peace again. All right one last thing Just a little extra motivation for you guys um, If you want to have 
better connections with girls or more connections with girls, I'd say traveling is probably one of the best ways to probably experience that. There's just something about traveling where you're doing something really exciting, so you have this more excited energy about you. And when talking to people, if I say to a girl, hey, I'm from California, and you know, and she's a German girl, that automatically makes me more interesting and it gives us stuff to talk about. So it's very easy to meet girls. Um, also, fellow girls also traveling, uh, traveling girls too. But it's really easy to meet girls when you're traveling. And especially like traveling uh, alone, I'm kind of more forced to put myself out there, which really helps talking to girls too and meeting girls. So um, lots of cool, I've had lots of cool experiences traveling and I um, just wanted to mention that to give you guys a little extra motivation. Peace. And for you guys watching this video, uh, I'd say the best thing you could do is go travel by yourself somewhere. Go to Europe and St. Hospital.